And so I began thinking about this problem, and I was trying to find a way to combine these two things, to, to have transparency but also be able to, um, to make it seem like you're just adapting the, the program that you're running. And ultimately what I came up with was the adaptive firmware card. Uh, in effect, what the adaptive firmware card did was it sort of turned the Apple II, which was a, a single tasking machine. You could only run one program at a time. It sort of turned it into a multitasking machine. It was sort of a poor man's version of a multitasking machine because you might say it was a double tasking machine. You, you could run the program plus the input routine as the second routine. But the, it was a circuit board that went in the computer and the adaptive routine that you wanted to run resided on the, on the card and the hardware played tricks so that when you wanted to use that routine it would interrupt the, the program that was running and then it would bring up a scanning array or, or do Morse code or, or do whatever was necessary uh, to allow you to generate text with one or two switches. And that was uh, and I guess that was that was something new. And uh, and I remember I don't know how, but somehow Greg Vanderheiden found out about this. I can't remember. I might have written a letter to the Trace Center, uh, or there was a contest about that time. Johns Hopkins first national search, mm -hmm. and so I, and I did enter this as as, as as something, but. I remember we got a call from Greg Vander. I think my getting called by Greg Vander, I mean, sort of like, like I don't know, <laughs> like the president himself. Well, I don't think he was my number one hero. And, he was impressive, and I was impressed that he was and, calling. And I realized that I had excited. finally, I had finally, after all this time, managed to impress you. Well, I think I was also excited because you would talk about this. I could not follow the technology. Good, Greg. You and Greg can talk technology. <coughs> Anyway, Greg, Greg, was, well, Greg was just amazing. We had long conversations, and he, he put me in contact with Dave Kelso, who was the engineer at Trace Center, and, uh, and he was very helpful with the, with the harbor design. Um, and Greg even, even talked me into uh, writing an article with him for Byte Magazine, which was quite an experience. We, we laid bare all the secrets of the adapter from McCartan. Like even, we certainly weren't going to go commercial with it, so even, fine. Let's give out all the we, secrets. We even, put, you know, even gave out the we even the diagram gave the circuit circuit diagram, and that that generated a lot of interest. And and before we knew it, we were uh, in business selling the thing, and which which was funny because I I had no interest in going into business. And neither did I. It was never part of our plan. And and I I somehow thought once once I got this thing working that. You know that Greg would you know, that somehow we would turn it over to um, some company like Pranky Romick maybe, and I remember Greg saying, "Well, yeah, but why don't you just why don't you just make a few? Why don't you make like twenty five of them, and you can sell those and you can get your money back, and then it'd be because you put a lot of time and effort. You could be easier easier to uh, interest another company in this. Well, the thing is, <laughs> I think it was very sly because the thing is by the time you Cell 25, you've written a manual, you figured out how to package the thing. You've done, you figured out how to do invoicing and billing, you've got all the business licenses, you know, you're just, you, you have to learn so much. So, in short order, we had this mom and pop going full bore in our dining room, <laughs> and, and we had the phone ringing, and, and there was, uh, remember Dun and Bradstreet, some guy shows up at the door. <laughs> to get to a credit, you know figure out our credit rating so we could buy chips and stuff from supply. Fact, we, we never really needed to advertise because Greg was the, was the best pitch man you could possibly hope for. Uh, he would, we could track his progress across the country, his speaking engagement. Just We'd on, suddenly get like a flood of orders from mm -hmm. Texas. Well, Greg was just in Texas. <laughs> yeah. and, Ju and Judy got so, you know, people would call up and they say, oh, Greg Vanderheiden says we have to we have, to have one of these. Well, we'd ask people, you know, what are you going to mm -hmm. use it for? And I remember one time it was somebody with severe, profound mm -hmm. kids, and it was when the card, you couldn't even customize it at that point. It was just alphabetic and uh, for scanning and saying Morse code and, and a keyboard. And I thought, well, 
I, you know, I think you really don't need the depth from record. I think you need a switch interface and some inputs. Greg Vander Heiden said, <laughs> if you're a special ed and you have an Apple computer, you must buy an adaptive firmware. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. <laughs> and it also, another reason that we didn't need advertising, I think, was that um, the therapists and teachers, who, anyone who used it and s successfully and saw what it could do, just had to go out and tell people. Mm -hmm. So like we heard about closing the gap. We didn't know about closing the gap. We heard about it from other people who went there and other people were telling them how to use the adaptive firmware card. So oh. we finally went in year three and did a workshop, but it was like people spread because it was so exciting what yeah. to see what your kids could do. But I, I think I think for us the probably the most amazing thing was the, the community that this put us in, in touch with. And, and we really began hearing from people, began realizing what was going on all across the country and across Canada. Yeah. And when we finally ended up going to Closing the Gap, it was just an amazing experience. Yeah. I mean, that was... Yeah. And support from like other people, other, other vendors, um, other people in the field, it was all so new, mm -hmm. just completely wonderful.